Welcome back, everyone, to another video. I just want to say I appreciate you guys being here for just a couple of minutes. So this is a book review, and I already know the title, the thumbnail, all of it says it, but I read Name of the Wind, and I took about a week before I did this video because I was like, all right, we got to see. I, for one, I wanted to see if I knew what the hype was, and I had to read it to really let my mind just soak in everything to see what the hype was i'm gonna tell you guys i still don't see the hype of this book at all the story is just so boring i sat there and i just tried to enjoy it so much the beginning the first chapter i was like oh yeah this is good because you meet a spider demon thing and i was like oh yeah this is gonna be good stuff i expected that for the rest of the book and then they talk about like the name of the wind. It was like a magic thing. So I was like, all right, we're getting there. No, instead it's just diverts from that. And just the main character just talks about himself for the rest of the book. Like a guy comes in and he's like, I want to know about your story. And he's like, well, I'm only going to tell it my way. And you only going to do it for this amount of time. I'm like, dude, you're kind of like a dink like i don't a lot of people are talking about how clove is like such a sad character and i'm like no he's not he's honestly an asshole like he is he is not a good character he is so rude he's arrogant and he's a freaking gary stew dude he's I, like yes he lost his parents but so does a lot of characters and books and stories but that doesn't mean that they're like misunderstood or they're like good characters after that when you lose your parents in the story the character becomes better if they choose to overcome something better but he doesn't become better he's already good like he was eight years old when he was like with his parents and the dude that was teaching him things was like you know your son is amazing at like everything did you ever notice that I teach him this and after the first try, he's just good at it? That's so boring. I'm sorry, but that's so pathetic and just, it's boring. I hate, that's like my worst part about when I read books. And it's like, that's why I don't read like YA books too much because a YA does a lot of that tropish stuff where the main character is just naturally good at everything. And it just makes it so it's like really lazy and you just don't want to actually like support or cheer on the character like there was times in his book where i'm just like dude clove literally just showed up the professor at the school that he wanted to go to so bad to show that he was smarter and he was just i'm like this is just so annoying i i mean i don't feel bad for clove at all yeah they had a part where after his parents died he had to like fetch and hunt for like himself in the in the city so in that little part i was like all right i'm feeling a little bit but through the story though nothing like it was just boring i like truthfully it was just boring and clothes just stroking his own ego through the whole story and i just i i didn't understand where the appeal of is it's just i don't understand where the appeal is of this book i i don't i i've tried to and i put it aside for so long because i have seen all this is the greatest book in the world this book is amazing the only thing that I see that a lot of people truly have said why this book is so good is because the writing. And I'm like, that's it? So then I read it and I'm like, okay, so yes, the writing is really good in this book, but the rest of the book's just not good. Like the story itself is just not good. And I just, I don't like Clove as a main character. He is not a good main character. He's just a know-it-all that thinks he's just better than everyone. And he, every time he does something, it's just, it doesn't matter what happens because good things keep happening to him because it's just naturally how it happens. Now, granted, he is telling a story, so maybe it's a little different. And he himself is just saying, oh yeah, all these good things happen to him. But to me, I'm just like, oh my gosh. As soon, no joke, as soon as the story, the this old guy with him, with him and his parents, and as soon as the old guy was like, you know how good your son is i instantly was just done like i think it's fine when they talk about characters and they're like oh yeah your kids learning quickly but when he was like oh after the first try he's just really good and i'm like why 
why is this why is he already good at it why why is he good at every single thing you have taught him on one try or just no tries at all like i don't understand that logic it's just really annoying and then like every time they're like a bad thing was going to happen he's like well i read this in a book or this actually happened and during this play we did this and i don't have to worry about it. i'm like that's just it's just i don't know i, I just don't like it and i just i don't like clove i don't know why people like like this guy so much i don't and i'm gonna tell you guys i'm not being biased towards like patrick rothis i don't like a lot of his, the things he's been doing with this uh the book three and his fundraising stuff i put that aside to read this book because i don't i you know i don't compare the two of them together but this book i just i couldn't see the hype of it and i still don't see the hype of it i literally took a week to not do this review because i was like oh maybe maybe i might change a little no my opinion has not changed at all it's actually has worsened because i'm like i just wasted for one i wasted an audible credit because <laughs> i was at work so i would listen to it at work and then i would read it at home so i wasted an audible credit and i wasted hours of reading on a book that i just i'm like what in god's name am i reading why and i'm like this book is boring nothing happens in this book where i just enjoy it and I'm not going to sit there and defend it myself of why I don't like it. I mean, people are going to hate on it. Whatever. I don't care. I just, I don't see any appeal to this book at all. I, I, like, I, I, I don't understand. I'm never going to read book two. I already decided I'm not going to read book two. And if book three ever comes out, which I doubt it will, because by the sounds of it, Patrick Rothfuss hasn't even like started writing book three. I'm never going to read it <laughs> because I don't want to support someone like that for one, like, because it's just, it shows he doesn't care about his fans at all and I'm, I'm not gonna read i'm not gonna reread book one just to read book two that i have heard it's actually worse than book one so why would i read book two if i didn't like book one i don't know the logic doesn't make sense but other than that i just i couldn't get into it the only thing i did like about it is his writing he's a really good writer but the story itself is just not that good so i'm like whatever if you guys made it to the end of the video i doubt it who knows maybe you guys did I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out all my socials down below. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay hungry until somebody level. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.